Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Terra Nil. I believe this is the last level currently available with the game. So until or unless something gets added or uh, another DLC happens or whatever happens, I think this is going to be the final episode. And this level is called, let's see, can't remember. This is the Irradiated Sprawl, <laughs> which uh, this will be my second go at it. Uh, I... I screwed something up yet again, where involving the bamboo things, where uh, it's too complicated to explain. Since there's, this is a precious resource, these bamboo things, this is the only place you can grow the bamboo from, and I accidentally burnt part of it, and it was just like this tiniest sliver of a percentage enough to ruin my run, which kind of sucks, but you know, it's whatever. So I'm just going to come back in here quickly and try to do this again and do it properly this time. It involves a lot of toxin scrubbing this early on in the game, or in this early on in the level, rather. It's all about placing down power and toxin scrubbing like your life depends on it. And then once we can get the radiation levels down, we can get some of the other biomes going. Um, but yeah, ultimately, like, this level shouldn't be as difficult. I made it difficult because I did something really stupid. And then instead of restarting the phase like I could have done, I accidentally clicked restart level. So that's why I'm starting back from square one. But you know what? This game is fun, so it's not a burden to play back through the levels again. And now that I kind of know what I'm doing... I don't have to be as precious about the actions that I'm taking because I know what I do need to be worried about and what I don't need to be worried about this early on in this level. So, we will just pretend like this is not my second attempt and that, uh, and we'll just pretend that I'm good at the game. How about that? Deal? Let's just do that. It'll make me feel better. <laughs> Oh, man. I wonder if how many players have had to replay the same levels if they've had to do it as much as I have. Because, again, I don't think it's any fault of the game. I really don't. It's mostly me. But I can, I can deal with that. I wasn't that proud going into it. All right. Let's start getting rid of some of this toxic nonsense. Start pushing this back away from what we're doing, sort of advancing what we're doing, there we go, I want to make sure I get you, there we go, I uh, should be able to put you over here, put another one of these and just push that as far off to the side as we can. There we go. All right, let's focus up down here. Got you. Maybe put one over here and sort of push it. Just keep pressing forward and clearing up this toxin stuff, or the radiation rather. I really actually like this phase for some reason. I can't explain why. It's just like a different kind of challenge that I like. And fits sort of in the theming of the game that this might be something that you would have to do. So it just makes sense to do that. Alright, this up here is the next big challenge. Let's push this back as much as we can. Get the radiation levels down. I hope you guys enjoyed watching through this series. It was kind of a spur the moment decision to not only buy the game but also make a let's play of it as i saw it and i just sort of followed some of the news stories about it some of the just the posts that i was seeing online about it and uh, i was thoroughly fascinated and i wanted to give it a shot so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this because i definitely have i've had a lot of fun with this um let's see 
where else can we get rid of some toxin? I guess technically like over here needs a little work. I'm trying to get that percentage down so that way the game actually triggers something. Hmm. This could be interesting. Okay, here we go. Any minute now. I wish I could get some of that. That's just sort of stuck out there. Uh, there we go. This should probably do it. There we go. Kelp forests. Okay, that's actually still high enough to be a problem, which I don't like. I'm trying to get some of that over there, but I don't know if I can. I wish I could get that over over here. Don't know if I can though. The buildings might not work in my favor. All right, what happened last time is that there was little pockets of radiation that I wasn't spotting before. So I want to make sure I'm taking care of that. Well, let me see here. All right. I might have jumped the gun, as per usual. Let's start doing some greening. So that way we can unlock the sunflower buildings, because that'll probably tank the radiation levels. So we have a good start. We just need to start greening. And since the city's laid out basically on a grid, greening it is not super difficult. I guess I don't technically know what officially tanks the radiation levels other than just the things we were putting down earlier, the radiation cleansers, but I'm assuming that by turning those radiation places into the sunflower places that that will prevent them from creating more, which will take the percentage down. I don't actually know that. That just makes sense conceptually to me. All right, come on. There we go. 70%, not bad. So if we can unlock the mineralizers, we could build stuff out there. So we just got to get to that next phase. Start cleaning up as much of the oceans as we can. That's just easy by comparison. Yep, put some of that down. 87%, we're making our way. Ninety-one, we're getting close. Okay, that's looking good. Ninety-seven percent, not bad at all. I can already see that there's going to be some very interesting challenges with this one. Just because of what seed we got, I guess. Because your same strategies won't necessarily work each time. Okay. Next, you must seal the radiation in helio cages and introduce bamboo groves on derelict skyscrapers. Enclosed bodies of water make excellent sites for lagoon life, and concrete can be broken down with deciduous forests. Roger that. So again, we gotta, okay, it's like right on the line for that. So if we cap this off, will that put the radiation down? Yeah, there we go. So that's what we wanna do first, is just immediately 
satisfy that right away. What I might do is not do the bamboo forests yet, because that's what got me in trouble last time. Maybe we focus on deciduous forests while we can grow them, because the temperatures have to be correct in order for those to work. Let's actually try and plot out what we're doing. There we go. All right, the lagoon stuff, we'll have to figure that out. Because the other thing that we need to look at is increasing the humidity. Which, we do have some clean ocean tiles that we can do that from. But, we don't want to get too crazy on that, because there's better places that we can do it that will give us a higher return for our cloud seeding. So we just gotta select the right spots to do it, and that should be fine. Places like that are huge. That's good. That's good. That's good, so we gotta get temperatures up. Temperatures and humidity need to go up. So let's keep getting the humidity raised. All right, we're very close. There we go. All right, humidity is all the way up. So now we can burn not the bamboo forest because we haven't grown them yet. Because that's what I did wrong last time. I burnt stuff I should not have burned. But since the bamboo forests haven't been grown yet, there's no danger of that for the moment. We can just start burning stuff with reckless abandon. Rains begin. Is that everything? I think that was the last thing. Okay, we can close that. That's out of my mind. So now we'll let the rain come in, heal all this again, and then I'll grow the bamboo forests, and that should satisfy that. The lagoons are a little bit trickier, and I'll show you what I mean, because they all need enclosed areas. And the only ways that I know how to do that are use mineralizers or create glaciers to, like, seal off certain areas. So, yeah, we'll see. Luckily, the deciduous forests are pretty plentiful. Like, we can always just make more if we need to raise the temperatures again, because obviously creating the glaciers lowers the temperatures. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. This right here is a good start. I'm curious. Do we even have any places that we could purify? Hmm, nope. Everything's too large. Um, but we could begin with you right there. Yeah, it gets us, like, halfway. And you get us, like, almost perfect and perfect. Maybe I'll hold off on using that one just as an emergency in case something goes wrong. So... I just want to test a theory real quick. Can I create a rock lagoon? Too large to purify. Fascinating. I don't know why. Maybe it's not sealed in, technically. That's also too large to purify, huh? Okay, that answers my question. Which I'm not a fan of the answer. However, not a lot I can do about that. So... Where can I put one of these? This is where things got a little confusing for me last time. Just trying to figure out how exactly to... Where to put these. In cleans a completely enclosed area. So, let me just try this again from a different angle. Just to make sure I'm not crazy. So, like, if we do this, does this count? Yes, it does. So, we can use rock instead of, let's use rock instead of glacier. That's a better idea. So, if we do that, and then that, we can just close it off with rock. Okay, right about there. Okay, it's weird, it's definitely weird, but 
it technically works. So that's what we're going to go with. Too large to purify. Why in the world is that too large to purify? How about now? No? What's... Oh, was there a, a throughway there? I don't know why that's too large to purify. That's weird. Alright, well, we can just do this. Seal this off. Make one right... There? No? Dang. Skunked again. Alright, what about... Literally... Uh, oh, wait, there we go. I guess that... That's... How is... That's like a huge area. I don't understand what this game wants sometimes, you know? Maybe it just has to be deep, I guess. Alright, cool. Connect your airship to monorail network and recycle your buildings. Encourage animal life to occupy the area by satisfying their needs. Launch the airship to leave the restored ecosystem. Simple enough. Or at least it should be. How are our animals looking? Are they organized by species already? I think they are. The peacocks are happy. The boars are happy. The panda's happy, which is great. Eddie, the turtle, is fine. Eagle's fine. Oh, these aren't organized the way I want them to be. Alright, what do you guys need? Okay, you're getting there. You're starting to be happy, which is good. We have one happy panda, which is all that I need. Because they are notoriously difficult to make happy. Alright, which one of you... Who's going to be happy first? You. Okay, excellent. So now we can focus on getting this airship airborne. Okay, and we can do it by monorail, so that's not bad at all. Alright, we just gotta connect all this up. Which that's gonna be a pain somewhat, just because of how much stuff I've placed all around the island, but that's kind of par for the course at this point. The main thing is that I won't cause a game-breaking situation to happen where I somehow can't do what I need to do. Which, that's kind of all I'm concerned about at this point. Which, I think I'm beyond that point now, which is good. I don't think I can possibly mess it up from here. Might be a famous last word, but I think we're okay. If I just connect all of you up, I might not even have to use the silos, really. I might not even have to. We'll see whether or not I do. We'll just gotta make sure that we have a way inland. This is gonna become a proper spider web. It's not going to be pretty, but it'll be functional, and that's all I really care about. Just collecting up all the stuff that we don't need anymore. Alright, let's start with you. And then with you. And then, like a far point, like you. And probably you. We'll start working to the left and to the right of that spot. Oh, did you actually wait for the other one to come through first? Because if so, that is incredibly helpful that you did that. Okay. So yeah, we just need to collect to the left and right. Nice and simple. And anything that we miss, we'll come back for. No biggie.
I've really enjoyed playing this game, and I hope that you guys have had a relaxing slash fun time watching me fumble through it. I know there are a couple levels there that you probably were close to pulling your hair out, but you know what? Again, kind of par for the course for this channel. Based on what kind of game I'm playing, if it's a game that people are fairly familiar with, sometimes my playstyle can be a little bit hard to watch for some people, just because I am prone to mistakes that other people, more seasoned veterans of certain games, would probably never make. But it's a less play channel, it's not an instructional channel, it's not a how-to, this is just how I play whether there's a camera recording or not. And so, I don't really feel like I have to apologize anymore. Because I'm only interested in people sticking around who watch for me, and not how I play the game necessarily. Because you're not going to get some pro, pro plays around here. Just as a warning. I try and keep things very honest, and I... Don't consider myself to be amazing at all sorts of games. But I do enjoy games, and I am passionate about games. But that does not necessarily mean that I am the best at games. But, if you did subscribe to this channel because of the Terra Nil videos, I do appreciate that quite a bit. This is a hobby for me. I have a lot of fun doing it. And if I can bring anybody joy throughout their day by making goofy videos, that's pretty special. And I'm happy to do it, because I have a lot of fun. Yeah, let's finish this, this thing up here. Send you out one at a time to go collect all this stuff. Okay, I believe we are good to go. And with that, that is the final level of Terra Nil. And so, yeah, this has been a phenomenal game. I think I already know what's on the docket next up for like a secondary game to go alongside Mass Effect 2. Um, and I'm excited for you guys to be able to see it because I think you're going to enjoy it. But thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next game. Bye. Thank you.